Let's check complexity for matrix chain multiplication for all the three approaches. In recursion, what we are doing, we are dividing given sequence into two parts. That is from i to k and k plus 1 to j, right? And recursively finding the number of operations. So we can say branching factor is 2 and we are doing this till j. That's basically number of total given matrices and that is n. So the complexity would be 2 to the power n. That's exponential. Now, space complexity. Space complexity is the depth of recursion tree. If we consider recursive call on the stack, that is n. So space complexity will be O n. Now, moving forward, top-down approach. In this, we are optimizing recursive approach with memoization. So the size of recursion tree gets reduced and it will compute just the unique subproblems. And if we check for unique subproblems, we are calculating number of operations by making two recursive calls in every iteration, right? That is for calculating minimum number of operations from i to k and k plus 1 to j sequence matrices. So that makes runtime order of n square. Now for each subproblem, there might be n splits possible, right? So we can place the bar at place 0 up to n in the worst case. So that makes complexity O n to the power 3. And space complexity? It will be O n square as algorithm is consuming n squared space for storing result for each subproblem. Similarly, with bottom up approach, for getting final result starting from sequence 0 to n, we need all i to k and k plus 1 to j results before. So we are solving smaller subproblems first. So here the first loop takes O n running time and rest is n square in the worst case. Therefore, total time complexity will be polynomial that is n to the power 3 and space complexity would be n square for the array that we are using. 